What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel, Wealth Hacker Labs. And today we are talking about one of the most fun, exciting times of my life, and that time was college. Now, for me, I'm grateful that Facebook didn't exist when I was in college because it, let's just say if it did, it just it just wouldn't have been good. We're good. But I digress, college was a fun time, but it was also fun because I was young, I was ambitious, I had these big dreams, goals, and aspirations of making a lot of money. Now granted, I had no idea how I was going to do it, but I just believed that it was a possibility and I could do it. And the other part is that when you were in college, it got a lot of extra time to think about making money and also you've got extra time to start making extra money. And that is what I want to talk about today. So if you are in college, I want to share with you seven ways that you can start making money today. And the cool thing is that number seven is actually is something that you can start today that could become a thriving business. So we're going to find out what these seven things are right now. Cue intro. So there are a lot of different ways that you can make money in college. What I want to spend some time today is sharing some of the things that actually made me money, made me real money. I also want to share some ideas that really weren't available when I was in college that if I was in college right now, I would be stoked about, especially number seven. So let's go ahead and get started. So number one is donating plasma. Now you're probably wondering, what, what? Okay, the line is, Say what? What's exciting about donating plasma? So this is one of the first ways I ever made money on the side. This actually wasn't in college for me, it was in high school. I went, donated plasma, I think I made like 75, 90 bucks. But what I remember was all I did was sit there. I just sat there, they stuck me with a needle, whatever it was, took some fluid out and I got paid $90. Like it, it was the easiest money I've ever made. Now, if you've got a fear of needles, this probably isn't something that you wanna consider, but if you don't have any issues, somebody sticking something in your arm, you could make on average $300 a month extra by donating plasma. So the whole process is gonna take you anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours and you get paid anywhere from $20 to $50 a session. Sometimes I'll pay you a little bit more for the first time around. But why would I recommend this? Well, because one, you're getting paid just to sit there, but if you are just sitting there, then you're totally missing the point because you have time to research, to read, to listen to podcasts, to become better educated on other business opportunities that are out there. So if you are getting paid to sit there to donate plasma, then you can start researching some of the other ideas that I'm gonna share in this video. All right, the second way that you can make money in college, and you, you gotta trust me on this one, is playing poker. Yeah, I know. So you're like, Jeff, you're, you're recommending that I gamble? Yeah, may, maybe a little bit. So hear me out. I'm, I'm a huge, I love playing poker, I love playing Texas Hold'em, and I played a lot when I was in college, but it wasn't until I was deployed to Iraq that I played, literally played Texas Hold'em every single day. Okay, maybe not every day, but like 95% of the days when we had downtime, I was playing Texas Hold'em. And after playing every day for almost a year, like. I got pretty good and I was making a lot of money on the side. And I recognized like when I got back, if I really wanted to spend the time and find pickup games or go online to play online poker, cause you've got sites like Poker Stars, like Full Tilt, like there's plenty of online poker sites. Now, yes, it can get really, really tricky, scary. You could lose a lot of money just like investing. But if you are patient, if you are, willing to sit down and invest the time and invest the skill in learning how to play, how to read people's faces, read uh, their tells, like you can make a lot of money. On average, I think when I was playing back in Iraq, I was making some nights I would make $50, other nights I'd make a couple hundred. I think the most I ever made on a given night was like $500 like in one night. Like that was a lot of money. But the thing with me is like I was very patient. I, I never let my I won't say I never did this, but for the most part, I was able to stay cool, calm, collected, you know, never went on tilt and just started like trying to gamble all my money away. So if you can play, keep your emotions aside and actually spend time learning the craft, 
like you can make decent money playing poker. All right, the third way that you can make money in college, and this one will also probably be a surprise for you because in other videos I have bashed this idea of making money, but number three is multi-level marketing. So why would I suggest this? So just quick personal, personal background on myself. I tried a few different MLM programs. Uh, one, I didn't make any money at all. I think the second one I ended up making, I think $150, the most ever made uh, one month. Um, I put a decent amount of time into it. I won't say that I invested all my time into it because it does take a lot of time. I don't care whatever you're being told, whatever you're being pitched about a side business. One of the most successful ML MLM people I've ever encountered was investing 40 hours a week on top of the business that he was running, which was more than 40 hours per week. And I think that he was making anywhere from 50 to $60,000 a year. I mean, it was a full-time job. Now I supposedly I've met other people that are making more than that. I've never seen the paychecks. Uh, you can do all that research on your own, but here's why I would suggest MLM one you you are required to sell like you have to go out and find people and putting yourself in an uncomfortable position trying to sell something like that is huge and anybody that's not experienced doing sales and and trying to sell a product or service you know you get really really good sales training in that process you also get a chance to network with other people now you got to be careful here because MLM can also burn a lot of bridges. And you don't wanna become that person that is secretly inviting people to a opportunity. They wanna invite you to dinner or lunch or they wanna invite you to a meeting on a Tuesday night and you're just all secretive about it because you know that if they find out what you're trying to share with them, uh, that they're not gonna show up. Like, you gotta be legit. You gotta be transparent and be willing to just open up to people. The other thing too is you gotta be willing you got to be with a company that you believe in. Uh, you don't want to just join an, an MLM because of the potential money. It better be a product that you use. And one of the products I see a lot of people that have, have had success here recently with MLM is essential oils. Now, I personally don't use essential oils. My wife does, so she loves essential oils. So we've got the oils throughout her house and you know, it smells really fragrant and pretty and for those people that are using essential oils and believe in it and have had good results from it, if that's the case, and then you want to join the MLM essential oil business and sell it, that, that's a good thing, you know, because you're selling a product that you believe in. But if it's just something that you wanna make money on and you really don't believe in it, then yeah, that's just not a good thing. Another MLM that I'm a believer in is Beachbody. I've just seen so many people have had success utilizing the Beachbody programs, using the Beachbody products. I've done a few of the Beachbody programs like P90X, 21 Day Fix with my wife. And it's just, it's another MLM that it's just, it's very strategic in the sense that it's actually helping people. I mean, you're helping people lose weight, get in shape, you know, bettering their health. Like those are the types of MLMs that I can rally around. The fourth way that you can make money in college is driving for Uber or Lyft. According to ridesharesapp.com, the average Lyft or Uber driver makes $17.50 per hour. Now, I don't know if that accounts for gas and all the other maintenance with your car, Either way, you're getting paid decent money just to drive around. But here's why I would recommend driving for Uber or Lyft is that you have the potential to network with hundreds of people, depending on how many rides that you accept. I mean, you talk about a way to force yourself to meet new people, find out what they're doing, and you could potentially meet somebody that could land you a, a job. It could land you a connection with somebody else that you're trying to network with. I mean, if you take full advantage and you ask a lot of questions, it's a tremendous opportunity to expand your network and get paid while you're doing it. In fact, I was reading an article on Forbes that was talking about Uberpreneurship. So let's say that you had a side hustle, you had a product or service that you wanted to sell to people. 
One way that you could do it is sell people that you pick up in your car. And in the story, it was showcasing an entrepreneur that had a custom jewelry business and he drove for Uber and he didn't sell everybody, but he would start conversation with people. And if the opportunity arose, then he would mention his custom jewelry business. He would, I'm assuming, show them some of his products or that he had in the car. And while he was driving for Uber, he was able to make over $250,000 from selling his jewelry business in his car. Like, I don't think Uber probably wants you to do that per se, but it is a way, it could be a launching pad to network, get your business off the ground, build your clientele and network and network and network. All right, the fifth way that you can make money in college, I have to give a shout out to Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk on this one. So back in 2017, Gary V had the to $20,170 flip challenge. And basically this whole challenge was you can, if you're willing to hustle, if you're willing to do the work, you can go to garage sales and you can flip stuff on eBay. And that was the challenge. And many people took him up on that challenge and not only made 20,000, over 20,000 flipping stuff on eBay. I mean, there were people that made over $100,000. And I just love that whole challenge. And number five is, is that flipping things on eBay. So personally, I've tested this out on a few things. I've been able to flip shoes, I've been able to flip some basketball cards, and I've made a couple hundred dollars just testing it out, so I know it can be done. Now, I'm not, I haven't gone the route of going to garage sales or flea markets, but here's the cool thing, because not just with garage sales, you can go to like Salvation Army, Goodwill, and find name brand clothing that has been donated, and you can either pick it up for cheap, uh, you've got all these different Facebook groups of people trying to give away stuff. Uh, people are giving away stuff all the time. They just don't even want to mess with it. And then you can go and flip that on eBay or Craigslist. And I'll have a link in the description of some of the items that you can look out for. But shoes, name brand clothing, video games, old records, uh, baby stuff like strollers, car seats, clothing. Uh, there are so many different things. It just depends on what is the area that you want to focus in. If you don't have any kids, then you probably don't wanna waste time or money buying a bunch of baby stuff. But if you find out that you can buy car seats for cheap, and resell them, like that might be something that you can make a lot of money on. Just make sure you do the research first before you go out and start flipping stuff, but you can make some money doing it. Number six is another one that I wish was around when I was in college, but that is making money on Amazon. And there's two different ways that you can do it. One is Amazon arbitrage. So what does that mean? So that could be buying stuff on eBay, or it could be going to Walmart, Target, department stores and buying stuff on clearance that you can then sell on Amazon through their Amazon Associates program. I tested this out with my son last year and we bought some My Little Pony figures that were on clearance on Target and you could sell them on Amazon and make, it was like I think a $5 profit per figure. I think we bought like eight of them. So it was like $40 that I made just by going to Target, buying it on clearance and then selling it on Amazon. So that is one way that you can make money, very similar to the eBay flipping challenge. Now, the other way that you can make money on Amazon, and this is the one that people are crushing it on, is through the FBA program. Now, I will say full transparency, I've never tested out the Amazon FBA program, so I can't even begin to give you any guidance or information. All I can tell you is that I have a lot of friends, I know a lot of people that are crushing it. When I mean crushing it, they are making well north of six figures per month. And that's not revenue, that's profit because they have established themselves on Amazon. If this is something that you want more information on, some good YouTube resources that I found is Kevin David, who is crushing on Amazon FBA, and also Stephen James at Project Life Mastery. So those are two YouTube channels that you can check out if you wanna learn more about how to kill it, crush it at Amazon FBA. All right, number seven, the seven way that you can make money in college. And this is the one that, man, I would totally, totally would be eating up if I was in college and this is doing Facebook ads for small businesses. So this is why I love talking about number one in the beginning, donating plasma, because as you're donating plasma, you are sitting on a bed for 90 minutes, two hours, and all you can really do is read or listen or watch. 
So if you are donating plasma, you can start doing research on how to do Facebook ads for small businesses. And some really good friends of mine, Mike and Bobby from Laptop Empires have a course that's called the Facebook Side Hustle. And this is where they are helping people learn how to do Facebook ads, to learn the whole Facebook ad system, to test Facebook ads, but even more so, they are teaching people, their students, how to actually acquire clients how to go out into the real world and find small businesses that are willing to pay someone good money to do Facebook ads for their business. Because here's what you have to realize. Most small business owners are older, they don't quite get social media, and they really don't have the time or the interest to want to understand it. They know that younger people get it, that they understand how social media works. And if you can go to them and show them that one, you get social media, you get Facebook, you can do Facebook ads, you can show them how to do sales funnels and give them real results, like people are willing to pay. And there are several students in Mike and Bobby's course, their program that are making more than $1,000 a month, well north of that, doing Facebook ads for small businesses. So that I just, I love everything about it because you're getting education on Facebook ads, you're getting education on sales funnels, and you're getting the experience and confidence of landing your first client. I can't stress how amazing it is when you finally get somebody that's willing to pay you real money for your expertise. Like, I don't know if there's a better feeling, and that's why with this, like this is not just something that you can do in college, but this is something that you can grow and scale to a six-figure, potentially seven-figure business, and it's all about starting it right now. And if you're in college, you got time to do it. If you want more information on the Facebook Side Hustle course, I'll have a link in the description. It's worth checking out. So if you're in college and you're broke, you've got no more excuses because I just gave you seven different ways that you can go out and make real money right now. Which one are you going to start? I'm also curious, is there a way that you're making money in college right now that I didn't share? Be sure to leave that in the comments below so we can all learn how we can make money on the side because that's what Wealth Hacker Labs is all about. Want to make some real money. All right, y'all, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money. It's your life and only you can make it awesome. Go out and make some money and have some fun doing it. Peace.